How's it going everybody, this is Neo GTO, and today we're looking at T30, and this is going to be my final game in the T30 before I sold it. And the T30 is actually a vehicle which I've been kind of, sort of, grinding it for the last probably year and a half, but they've also been kind of putting it off at the same time because while this vehicle can be immense fun, like you're going to see with this game here, it can also be incredibly frustrating to play. Like it's almost Object 705 level frustrating. And if you've ever driven the Object 705, you know that thing has one of the most banjax guns I've ever come across in my life. Or like you've ever come across in your life, sorry. Can't phrase that wrong. The Object 705 has a gun which will miss f targets that are like 10 meters in front of it. And the T30 is very similar in that regard, but not quite as bad because it has uh, it has a lot more penetration to make up for just completely whiffing its shots. So it means that just hitting a target a lot of time is enough to actually do damage, where, whereas with the 705, a lot of the time hitting the target is nowhere near enough. But I'm going to start off this game by being pretty aggressive for Tank Destroyer because, well, the T-30 is in a unique position. It's able to actually play as sort of like a middle ground between a Tank Destroyer and a Heavy Tank. And that's something which has been said about the E-100, the uh, T-30 for a long time. And first shot of the game, on the move, shot in the T-7 Heavy. And if that shot that he fired against me there hadn't gone into where it did, if it hit me in the tracks, that would have been me pretty much dead and removed from this game before it's even really started. So I got remarkably lucky there. Not only hitting him, but also not basically getting wrecked by him. And then the M451 pulled around the corner, just blaps me in the face, but I blapped him back a lot harder than he blapped me. So, yeah. He, I think, definitely got the worst of that trade, considering I've got still 100 and 114 more health than him. Or no, 214 more health than him. So, I 100% came off better in that trade. Meanwhile, the T-30 on their side just died because, well, he sat out in front of an strv 103 p which is never a good idea. And the T-7 Heavy is kind of hanging out in the background a bit there because, well, I doubt he really wants to get shot to shit by an strv 103 p as well. Now, you might notice here that they had four tanks here. They had the Conqueror, the T-7, well, they had a T-57, and they had the T-30 and the M-451. We only really had three tanks fighting these guys. We had me, 103B, and the Object 140. And don't ask me how that shot makes any sense whatsoever. I have no clue. That is one of the most just like how in the hell did that happen shots I've ever come across. I mean, it was his front drive wheel. Literally the entirety of the of the area behind that front drive wheel, which I hit was penetrable armor. How on the how in the hell did that not do damage? <laughs> I just don't know. Like that's one of those situations where this gun's just like Nascri. <laughs> like the gun just decides sometimes that it just doesn't want to hit shit. But now we're in a situation where we can see that the Type 4 Heavy is making a move across the bridge, which is a very, very ballsy move. I'll, I'll give him some credit to say that's ballsy because, well, you're about to see it's not going to end particularly well for him because he got tracked, I believe, and I'm about to just whack him in the side, and the Pajito finishes, up, finish him off, finishes him off with a single shot, which means either he ammo racked him, which, well, we can see still has a turret, so unlikely, or I just had him with a hit him with a, like a 750 to like 800 damage shot. So, now I'm going to just kind of hang out here for a while because we saw the FV4005 fall back whenever he was still spotted. And we also know there's a TVP V, or no, no, I keep calling it a VTU, but it's TVP5051 over there. And, wow, that was like the most unbelievable timing ever because I think he actually flashed up on the minimap before he flashed up in the rendering of the game. So, that timing was absolutely just perfect and that snapshot was also just incredible as well because if I had missed that shot there is a chance the FV4005 could have out could have just like out competed the Type 4 Heavy and actually killed him eventually because well the FV is a medium tank 
in effect with a low top speed. Type 4 really can't handle something as quick as a medium in any shape or form. So we also know that the TVP has now been spotted there as we can see. And he just took, I think, what was that, like 400 damage? And I'm going to kind of aim roughly where he was and I'm going to have a blind shot. No idea whether or not that hit. But I believe the Object 140, yeah, the Object 140 just got a kill on him there. So I think it's somewhat likely that I managed to hit him unless, of course, he ammo racked him, of course. So at this point, we're on either 30... 400 damage potentially or we're sitting on nearly 4,000 damage depending on whether or not that shot versus the TVP hit and also assuming that shot on the Type 4 heavy hit. So we will have to wait until the post game stats to see whether or not those shots did indeed hit their mark. So we're now seeing our Conqueror is just getting absolutely spanked by the SDRV 1030 because in effect, the Conqueror really can't do much versus an STRV because the STRV just has more than enough, like, just, like, armor thickness to just, like, deflect all of the Conqueror's shots. Whereas, shots like mine from a 155mm gun, there's no way in hell he can bounce those shots. But the Conqueror, because it's a 120mm and the STRV 1030 has 40, I believe, millimeters of frontal armor, and, yep, that was bizarre to see. Just artillery, just jump off the cliff and just... <laughs> yeah, artillery. You can never predict them. But yeah, just blap him shoot in the face there and he tries to get a shot in return, but, well, him trying to get that shot in return... Just get just get some shot in the side by uh, Conqueror. So, the Conqueror, not looking too healthy at this point, but all the guys in the background are distracted by the enemy Conqueror, and I'm just going to roll forward, he's going to look at me, and I'm going to just eradicate him and finish him off. So that was 4,000 damage that we saw, but you also have to remember there's potential 1,500 damage that we didn't see. So yeah, let's look into the post-game stats here and just see how much damage we ended up with, and let's just see what kind of score we ended up with if those shots hit. Okay, so in this game we got an ace tanker Tank Sniper High Caliber, and we also can see we did hit a hit, or we did hit a hit, we did hit a shot on the TVP 5051, and we can also see the Type 4 Heavy also got hit. So, the question is now, how much damage did we end up with? 5,500 on the dot. What are the chances of that? Holy crap. 5,500 damage and 1331 BS experience. Now that, that right there is why the T30 can, can be absolutely just amazing fun. But you also need to remember with this vehicle the exact opposite can happen and you can end up basically with situations like this F4005 where you try as hard as you can to like do damage but well you just can't. It's very easy for that to happen with the T30, but god damn, that was such a satisfying game to play. And it was also just so satisfying to see 1331 experience and 5500 damage at the end. So, yeah. The vehicle can be so much fun, but you need to be very prepared for the vehicle to just absolutely fail you sometimes. So, yeah. Let me know what you guys think of the T30 in the comment section below. This was my send-off game for the T30, because... After this game, I now had 211,000 XP on the machine, so that meant that, well, I could finally unlock the T124, even though I have no intention of buying it, because these days the T124 is probably more like a tier 9.5 than anything else, which is pretty tragic, considering that used to be one of the best tier 10 tank destroyers, but is now one of the worst by far. And I think even the 268 these days is considered to be better than the T124, which is pretty tragic but yeah let me know what you guys think of this game in the comment section below let me know if you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching i will see you in the next one